morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever and whenever you're watching this, welcome. I'm so glad that you could join us for the Tuesday Truth for Kids. So what is this all about? Well, we've been reading our Bibles together to get to know God and all that He's done for us better, but also to see how we fit into God's big story. We've been using the SOAP tool to understand our Bibles better. So not this soap, but this soap, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. We've been learning about animals in the Bible. And this week's animal is one of the big cats. It's the second largest big cat in the world. They sleep for almost 20 hours per day, and they can run up to 80 kilometers an hour. The males of these animals, they have beautiful big manes. What is it? Yes, it's the lion. So there are actually a few places in the Bible that we can read about lions. But this week we'll read about a true story about a guy who had a very scary sleepover. So let's start with our first step, scripture. The passage we're reading about today is Daniel 6. You can pause the video right now to find Daniel in your Bibles. It's in the Old Testament, so that's the first part of the Bible. And it's a book in the group of books that we call prophets. So it's towards the end of the Old Testament. Daniel is after Ezekiel and before Hosea. And who can guess who the main character of the book of Daniel is? Well, yes, it's Daniel. So chapter six is quite long, so I'll tell you guys more or less what happened, and then we'll read a few of the verses together. So at this point, God's people are in exile in Babylon. Remember, we've been talking about that on Sundays. They turned away from God, and he punished them by letting their enemies defeat them and take them away to a strange land where they were slaves. So things were not looking good for God's people. But God was with his people and he did not forget them. He was looking after them. And God used Daniel as a part of his great rescue plan. So Daniel could understand and do difficult things with God's help. And the king at the time, King Nebuchadnezzar, noticed Daniel. And he put Daniel in charge of a lot of things. He was like the main helper of all the helper, helpers. So Daniel was even in charge of all the other kings, like servants and helpers in the palace. Now, the other helpers did not like this. They got really jealous and they wanted to get rid of Daniel. So they made a plan to get him into trouble. They tried to find something that Daniel did wrong, but they couldn't find anything. However, they knew that Daniel would do whatever it takes to obey God. And they thought this is what they'll use against him. Daniel prayed to God every day, three times a day, without fail, no matter what. And what did the evil helpers do? Well, they plotted to get the king to make a law. And this law said that no one in the land is allowed to pray to anyone except the king. Anyone who would break this law would be thrown into the lion's den. And what happened? Well, Daniel wanted to obey God, even if he knew it would cost him his life. So he carried on praying to God. He knew that it was wrong to pray to anyone except God. And this is exactly what the helpers wanted. They went to the king and told the king what Daniel did. The, Dan the king felt sorry for Daniel and didn't want to punish him. But the king also had to stick to the law that he had made. So he had Daniel thrown into the lion's den. Can you imagine that? In a den stuck with hungry lions. So what happened next? Let's read verses 19 to 23 of Daniel 6 together. So let's read. At the first light of dawn, the king got up and hurried to the lion's den. When he came near the den, he called to Daniel in an anguished voice. Daniel, servant of the living God, 
Has your God, whom you serve continually, been able to rescue you from the lions? Daniel answered, May the king live forever. My God sent his angel, and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me, because I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done anything wrong before you, your majesty. The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. This is so amazing. And guess what happened to the evil helpers? The king had them thrown into the lion's den to punish them. So what is this passage about? What did we notice? Daniel obeyed God no matter what it cost him. And what happened to him when he did? Did things get easier? Was his life perfect? No, he faced opposition. Enemies tried to stop him. But what did God do? God rescued Daniel. He did not forget about Daniel and he saved them. Daniel was in the lion's den for a little while where I'm sure he was really, really scared. But this was not forever. And this passage then is about how God's enemies and God's enemy, the devil, will try to stop us from obeying God. But it shows us that God will be with his people and rescue them so that they can carry on to obey God no matter what. What does this mean for us today? Well, God wants us to also obey him no matter what, even if it costs us a lot. We still need to trust God and do what he wants us to do. People will try to stop us, just like they tried to stop Daniel. And God's enemy will try to stop us too. But the enemy and other people in the end won't win. We might be scared for a little while, but in the end, God will fight for us and he will rescue us. And this is possible because of a greater rescue. As amazing as it is that someone could be rescued from a lion's den without getting any wounds, the greater rescue here is the one of Jesus rescuing us from our sin. Jesus died in our place so that God can forgive us from our sin when we trust in Jesus. Our sin separates us from God and deserves his punishment. And this punishment is death that lasts forever. But God sent Jesus to rescue us. And we are saved not because of anything that we have done. It's only because of Jesus. And because Jesus has risen from the dead, it means he won the battle over sin and death, which are our two most powerful enemies. But he also won the battle over everything and everyone else. So no matter how much people or God's enemy try to stop us, they will never win. We can carry on obeying God no matter what. Let's get to our final step now and all pray together. Let's close our eyes. God, thank you so much for this amazing story of Daniel. Thank you that it shows us that we can obey you no matter what happens, no matter what it costs us. Thank you that Jesus paid the price for our sin, but that he also defeated death and that he lives now, which means that we will live forever when we trust in him and that no enemy, nothing can stop us. God, help us to obey you and to do everything that you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us. I wonder what next week's Animal of the Week will be. We'll see you then. Bye.